own children in Africa. Uh, yes. <laughs> Apparently my, control, my controller is plugged in. It, was, it wasn't responding for some reason. Hooray! Okay, so we're on a mission in Final Fantasy VI to collect all seven Eidolons and uh, fight Seymour. Now, one of the great things about the Seymour battle in this is it happens over and over again. Anyway. That's true! Okay, so, uh, this party's fine. I don't know why, I, don't, I can't remember why we only have three people, but we do. Oh, because some of your characters had permadeath. Oh, right, I love permadeath. But it's that's one of my favorite effects. But don't worry about it, because just like permadeath um, brings back, permafrost is going away because of global warming, permadeath also reverses when the when the ice caps melt. Oh, yeah. And shouldn't we have... The uh, dead will rise. Shouldn't we have The lock? dead will rise. Because then it could be a roguelike. Because he's a thief, and the rogue likes have permit. I don't know. I think somebody like. Is Goddamn, this? no sprint shoes. What are you, a piece of shit garbage man? Okay, you're going to be wearing sprint shoes instead of... Who uh, needs a black belt? Speaking even... of Game of Thrones, Pod casts has a big penis for the stupidest scene in the entire TV show. <laughs> anyway. Not um, the stupidest scene in the entire TV show. It's definitely one of the ones where the prostitutes are like, Yep, yeah, I had sex with them, and they gave me my money back. <laughs> Nothing comes of it ever, except for Pop. He wasn't good enough. Which way did he go? That's why we gave the money back. We figured he had a terrible experience. Oh, look, it's Rios. Oh, man, that thing is so Rios. It's Rios sprites. <laughs> You're right. Um, here's the thing. So, so Game of Thrones has been over for a couple months now. <laughs> and... <laughs> yes. But but it's never truly over because people will be talking about it upwards of like two weeks after the final episode. Yeah. And then they'll be done talking about it. Which is probably around when this episode will air. Yeah, that's right. But but people have a lot of complaints about the latest season. Really? I, I, read, I really liked it. Me too. I read a lot of people saying that it was like really slow until the last couple episodes. And I was like, motherfucker, were you not paying attention? <laughs> have you never watched another show? Yeah. And the pe person who had sex with their mother or with the mother of their own children, which is totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, unless the mother of their own... Unless they were uh, the child was adopted, in which case that is weird. That is weird. Don't... You shouldn't sleep with your adopted children. Um... Uh, I wish I could do the name of, I wish I could do that guy. You know, the the guy who did sleep with his adopted children. Oh, uh, Woody Nelson. Although he didn't really sleep with his adopted... Let's drop that <laughs> um, I like how I just, like, impugned Rage rat. ring! I had one of those. Yeah. My, <laughs> you just was, put it on, he's going, Fuck! What am I mirroring to this bitch? It's just a device that makes you angry. <laughs> it really makes you rage against the machine. No, it's just the reminder that I'm married to my beautiful wife made me Some angry filled with he... rage. Because I hate her. Okay. As, as anyone should. There's a fright for dragon. I don't hate you, Lanius. No human could ever it's, defeat it. It's just for the comedy. But oh, how free we would be if someone could. <laughs> we, we recently went hunting on the veld. We saw some weird kid there dressed all in hide, so I we think, shot him. I think you're supposed to talk these guys in order, because then Lega says when all four of them were together. Yeah. Well, there's no one here in your party if you want him to approach you. <laughs> but, but stop feeling up the lamp. <laughs> um, but, but people said it was slow paced. I'm like, like fuckers. Like, every show is more s slow paced than the slowest episode of Game of Thrones. No. There are some episodes where nothing appears to be happening, but if you're not, like, but only if you're not paying attention, like, they'll go to somewhere, and then, then somebody somebody will make, like, some sort of dumb joke or whatever, but you're yeah. like, but that's setting up something big for People later. People don't seem to understand the concept of, like, foreshadowing or setup or any kind of narrative technique when well, it comes to Game of Thrones. Well, and, and even in a slow episode, like, like, uh, if, if, let's say a major character isn't killed off in that episode, right? Yeah. They'll, like, go to a castle or something like that, and then they'll meet somebody. And that might seem pointless to you because no, none of the main characters died, but if this was, like, na name a show. Um... That name a show that isn't all Monsters of the Week, like a show... Yeah, like... so I immediately thought of a bunch of Monsters of the Week shows, yeah. so I hesitate. Uh, I don't know, The, the Wire. No, okay, if, if it was The Wire... There might be like an entire episode of build up towards going to that castle, or even yeah. if it was like Breaking Bad, yeah. you might have an entire episode of build up, of, or a couple episodes building up going to that castle, and then it might be kind of pointless, but like you'll really get a great character moment, so it won't matter so much. Yeah. Or maybe it'll lead to like a, in a couple of episodes later, like something really big, like he he blows a guy up, or or he blows a guy. Yeah, but like those kind of big events don't happen in every episode of even the best shows no game of thrones this season has moved at a furious pace like in the first episode they killed off three plot lines yeah they like moved on stuff like shit on like yeah 
Daenerys didn't cross the sea in the in one episode. Yeah, okay. And uh, what's her name was like going around deciding whether she was going to murder. Arya was going. Uh, Arya. Arya <laughs> was going around deciding who she was going to murder and not murder. Yeah. For several episodes, and that was seemed uneventful. But there was development and progress there. Whereas you watch a lot of shows. They wouldn't even have that much progress. Uh, people like Walking Dead, and nothing has happened in five seasons. Yeah, so a slow. There were slow episodes of Game of Thrones. I mean, there were some where like the the drama, the characterization, maybe moved too fast to the <laughs> point where you felt like nothing happened. Yeah, like where they will like say like they'll just drop us a, a plot line. Like it has a big impact on the overall story, and something that would have taken many episodes to develop happened quickly. Yeah, right. But the the um. The actual scene itself had a lot of would have had more impact if they'd slowed it down. Yeah. It was almost too fast to the point where it felt like it nothing happened. Yeah. But something happened in like every episode, and I can see some shows that I really liked where nothing would happen for like two or three episodes while they built up to like something big. Yeah. Even like Buffy, like Buffy had like great, ah, monster in a box. nice focused monster in a box. Oh like, no, it's aloe vera. Uh, like when they fought aloe vera, that creature made of aloe vera that Wait, kept did healing he itself. Seriously, cast doom on me. <laughs> yeah. What am I gonna do to it? Oh no! Oh no! Um, you don't have very many more seconds left in this battle. Just, to, just so you know, you can't run away. I saved recently, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, I don't know. I really should have cast life. But he's gonna do. Oh, condemned. Con oh, that's what this guy does. He dooms, dooms, and then condemns. You. Okay, well that's okay. You've got a chance right now if you're fast enough. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, that's it. That's it. Unless you block this, you're dead. You're gamed over. So... Annihilated! I think we should have been better prepared for that battle somehow. Okay, well, we'll be back in a second. Monster in no, a box! box. Oh, God damn it! I wish I prepared for this. Um, so we prepared ourselves a little bit, but it turned out we didn't have any anti-death stuff. So we're just gonna have to move fast, basically. Um, and hope that we don't die before he, uh, dooms us. We're cheating basically by doing the vanish doom trick. If you haven't it's seen it's not us... cheating. It's a legit strategy. I've proved that by doing it against everything. <laughs> it's legit. Hey, it's a legit strategy, man. Wah! No, doom doesn't work. So I guess you just gotta kill him, and hope that he just does condemned for a couple turns. I hope so. Um, or or does the condemned? If only you had life three at this point, you'd be fine. Yeah. You should use your chainsaw or something like that. Unless it accidentally kills him and breaks it. Well, it has the chance of doing instant death, so yeah, I'm going to take yeah. that risk. When oh, there you go. That. Look, everybody survived. See? There you go. I got tiger fangs. Times one? What a worthless piece of shit. God damn it. What's a tiger fangs? It's fun. So scroll on, scroll on, scroll on, scroll on. I'm it's guessing it's a weapon for I think it's stage. even a, like, a, not even a great one. Like, I think you already had tiger fangs. Uh, to use the L and R for God's sakes! You're still what? on the no, relics. No, I know. It's is not it a relic. No, it's a it's a weapon. Could have been a relic. I don't know. Well, I told you. Now go back, you mother. Jesus, you mother Jesus. Go back, mother Tiger Jesus. Tiger fangs. No, see. Oh, it's the best one. one. Yeah, right. Sabina. It's the plus stuff. All right, it's not worthless. It's not worthless. Like that was mean. That was mean. It was a Genji glove. Speaking of worthless, we're talking about Game of Thrones. We're talking about Game of Thrones. Um, so yeah, a lot happens in almost every episode. There are, and this season was not slow. It was only slow in that some of the stuff people were waiting for took a while to happen. Yeah. But they brought Jon Snow back in the first episode. Spoilers. Which is, by the way, a complaint I have about this. In, in a sense, because I was hoping that it wouldn't be the red god that brought him back to life, that it would yeah. be one of the other theories I liked. Yeah. But I also hear a lot of people complaining um, that there's lazy writing in the episode now that, that um, uh, what's his pickle is not actually writing them. I, I think the writing's been way better, honestly. There's a lot less random, unnecessary rape scenes. Well, I mean... One. Y yeah, I, I, <laughs> but I don't think that's his fault. I think they were just trying they to like, sex that it up. To, they were adding that to the TV show, which I found weird, but they haven't done that since. Yeah, and well, I think they got too much feedback, and also they were just trying to sex it up for the first couple seasons, I think. Yeah. But it was trying to be sexy, right? It was, it was last season like, that r r pushed me over the edge. Though. Rape is like the uh, is like the like uh, t the TV version of sexiness. That's how you. That's that, that's, <laughs> that's an HBO version. HBO of sexiness. sexiness, yeah, it's just rape. And the rape scene in the previous season between the brother and sister was not supposed to be a rape scene. It was how they played it rather than how it was written. Yeah. It was supposed to be kind of like, oh, no. Oh, I can't do it here. This but not is inappropriate. But, but not sort of like, God, can 
cock away from me. What's, what are you doing? Please, please! You know, it was supposed to be just sort of, you know, uh, uh, feeling a little bit uncomfortable with the situation and mock, kind of. But they played it for more like... He it was ended up coming across. As, as real rape. Which is why I think they really toned it down, because they sort of realized how upset people were with that, and they realized that they had fucked up. Yeah, but regardless of whether their writing's better or worse... A lot of the times people have these fan theories on how things should be, and they say yeah. it's lazy if it doesn't fit their fan theory. Yeah. And there's some stuff that sped through a bit, and some stuff where it's a little inexplicable, but I think if you had a bit more time to get into the how the character's thinking, most of them would be explained. Yeah. Like, you know, the like Arya, right? Yeah. There was this whole thing, well, why is she just wandering around trying to leave town thinking she can get away? Doesn't she know that the waif is going to come kill her? She and doesn't know that. She doesn't know that. It's a reasonable thing to believe, but she's always been cocky and cocksure, and she wasn't yet there yet. Yeah. And maybe some people speculate she was actually trying to set a trap in case somebody did attack her by like because she actually set it all up. She hit her weapon, and then she made sure she got it while she was running, and then she made sure she was fighting in the dark. So she had like a back of her mind plan, yeah. and I think it just came to the forefront of her mind too quickly when she got stabbed. I don't think she was quite ready. Yeah. But I don't think it's lazy writing. There, you could argue that they should have done a better job of, of setting up that she wasn't a complete moron. Yeah. But it does fit with her character as we know it, and it sped through that plot point rather than taking longer. Right? Yeah. So the complaints people are having about it are sort of contradictory. Yeah. On the one hand, they want the show to, to go faster. On the other hand, they're upset that a scene kind of skips out some of the stuff that would make it seem yeah, also, more obvious what, how it works. Also, one of the things that people complain about is the fact that, you know, how did Arya just get across the sea so fast when before it took them ages to get there? When, like, I saw an article talking about, like, how is this huge plot hole? Yeah. And that article came out, like, three or four days after the writer was like, yeah, we don't, the, the storylines aren't all happening at the same time. Yeah. We're jumping around so that you don't have to have, okay, now we have two seasons of Arya sitting on a boat. Yeah, I don't think, uh, like, it's a bit deceptive the way it's edited and, and filmed in this show and in other things and in movies as well. Yeah, it's People, called editing. But, but, but it can be, it, I can understand how it's a bit deceptive, how they yeah. say, well, this scene <gasps> didn't actually happen when next to that scene as much as you think it did. Yeah. And this was kind of happening during that, which is a bit inexplicable, like, why didn't anybody notice or talk about this? Yeah. But oh, the, wait, is this Siegfried? Uh, it's, no, no, it's not Siegfried. It's, it's Senior Behemoth. Yeah, he doesn't look like a Senior Behemoth. I remember this being a tough battle, but then you're well, probably, probably higher level than I was. Probably, also. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're getting healed by this guy, don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the Behemoths, to be honest. Um, they were in I Final like the... Fantasy IV, and they're just kind of like, I don't know, they're, they're, they're really tough, but not interesting in my experience. There's a couple that are interesting, but only when they're like... That's not gonna work, but and he's coming from behind. Yeah, and there's two behemoths in this battle. Oh. Well, luckily I know the answer to that. <laughs> You're a bad person. <laughs> right, but but stuff is filmed out of order. People had the same that same problem in the Batman, the latest Batman movie, where it's like, how did he get to Gotham so quickly? Yeah. Well, fucker, he got out at a different time. Like they edited it so it looked it's, like it was concurrent. It was linked to the they were linking, they were editing thematically, not directly linearly. Yeah. People get really confused when things aren't directly literal. Yeah, or lin linear. Okay, so that just didn't work. I, li I like that it worked on the previous one, but not on this one. Yeah. Like, it must be something to do with the death script. Yeah. Um, it didn't want you to finish the battle with that, I guess. No, well, I think... Oh, yeah, right, I read not crypt. Okay, well, fine, let's do Dusk Requiem. Probably should have healed Japan's. What is this? Post-war period? <laughs> oh, he can cast... You can cast Doom! I think he, I think he has like a um, a, oh, a physical attack. Um, oh, this isn't gonna work. It's gonna regenerate him. Oh, nope, no, it worked for some reason. Okay, maybe there were two of them on top of each other. Maybe I got a behemoth suit. And the thunder blade. Thunder, 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 thunder blade. But finishing my thought on Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. The third thing people complained about is the zigzagging. Uh, thing where the the young guy Rickon should have just zigzagged to avoid getting shot pelted with arrows. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm not controlling. Oh, I see. They're just showing. But but also Rickon's what like 13 and an idiot. Yeah, and they say well he should have gotten trained by what's her name like on uh, on how to avoid arrows. Yeah, and also uh, what training? He's been running around 
being... Well, presumably living with her, they thought he would have some hunting training. Yeah. The idea of zigzagging to avoid arrows, though, is only obvious in hindsight from, like, the 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 online mega mind. Yeah. Like, if you're a 13-year-old and you're living in, like, a quasi-medieval world and you have no experience, um, I wouldn't have thought to run in a zigzag pattern. Maybe I'm an idiot. Actually, yeah. I am. Yeah. But, uh, but I probably would have just panicked and... And you know, also he didn't say you know that he didn't see him pull up the arrow until he was already running. Yeah, and you know what? This is not Zeno's paradox. You yeah. know, like like theoretically, he shouldn't have been hit by that arrow. That's right, according to Zeno. But <laughs> but um, but okay. But even if he zigzagged, I'm sure that that was that would have been an accepted part of the plan. He just would have been shot in a different way. Yeah. Also, it wasn't like a barrage of arrows. He was raiding, raiding to aim and shooting and. Ramsey's a good shot. He probably, I think he was teasing him with the other shots. Even if he zigzagged, I think he would have predicted where he was yeah. going and shot him. If he turned at exactly the right moment, spotting exactly when the arrow was being knocked and turned, turned then, yeah, he would have probably gotten across. But then Ramsey would have just probably unleashed all the arrows and yeah. just said, Fuck you! You piece of shit garbage man! Yeah. And I don't mean that, that I hate people who pick up garbage. I mean, you're a man made of garbage! I hate you! You're dead now! Ha 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 ha! Now I'm gonna go rape some people and cut off their dicks! Uh, also, can I just say that everything involving Ramsey I did not care for? It was uh, just, they, they, like every scene of his was the same. Hey, he's evil! Remember how evil he is? He's evil. Look at him kill a dude, he's evil. Well, you Remember know, when we had an entire season of him torturing Theon? You know what? I, like I think that established the fact that he's evil. I, what I was going to say is let's talk about uh, Ramsey in the next episode, but since you basically covered the whole bases in the last two seconds of this episode, <laughs> uh, next time, folks, we'll talk about something different. <laughs>